This is our um, RCA unit. Our um, everything is run on this Pro 1200 here. So right here we can see that the tractor, we can visibly see that we're in the tractor and where it's located in the field. If we look in the top left and I move forward a little bit, we can see the combine in the field that we're connected to. We can connect to multiple machines. We can connect to up to six different machines, um, whether it's three tractors, three combines, um, four combines, three tractors, things like that. Um, when we get in the field, we can look and see when we get on the left side of them, we'll have a sync window um, these are our indicators, so to engage steering and propulsion, which is our speed. We have an indicator here, we engage them separately. Uh, our steering wheel will turn blue once steering is engaged. Our propulsion, our tractor will turn blue once propulsion is engaged. Um, to engage those things, steering is our auto steer button. Propulsion, there's a black button on the back of the propulsion handle. Um, we engage those separately. He can send us uh, notifications to come to him. It's just a notification to alert the tractor operator, hey, I want you to come to me. Um, he can also send us unload requests when we're done in the field, at the end of the field, whatever it is, uh, to send us away. It's still our responsibility to engage the system and disengage the system. So we have to be aware of our surroundings, aware of what's going on. But we're taking a lot of the communication out of it. We're taking the precision out of it from the tractor operator and putting it in our system's hands. Um, once we get synced to them, we have these five different positions here. The combine operator has a joystick mounted on the back of his monitor that he can move us to these five different positions. He can also nudge us left to right. Uh, and then he can also perform what, a, what we call a speed hold. So a speed hold locks us at the last speed that the tractor was going. And now the combine operator has the ability to move front to back, speed slower, or speed, slow down or speed up to fill different areas of the grain cart, depending on what he has left, what's in the grain cart, um, weight capacities, things like that. So as we pull up towards the combine here and get on the left side, you'll see this gray window populate. This is what we call our sync window. Our sync window is our area of operation. So as long as we're in the sync window, we can engage our system. Uh, and we'll, we have a status bar down here that basically tells you everything you need to know. Right now we're in the sync window, we're ready and engaged. We can engage our system at any point. Uh, that sync window goes back about, in all, about 250 feet. Um, you'll see a red dot on the side, and as we get closer to the combine, you'll see that red dot out to the left of it. That is the tip of the auger. So that is our center point. That is our sync point that we're going to, that we set an XY coordinated axis to, um, that we're gonna hit every time. Uh, we'll hit center of the grain cart first, and then from there, he can position us around. So if we go and go to engage our system, we'll hit steering. We'll then hit propulsion. It'll turn blue. Now it's active. It's acquiring a sync position. So now it's going to gradually pull us under the combine. The farther back we are, um, it will reach a top end speed. We have it at 12 right now. 12 to catch up to the combine as we get towards the back of the combine and to slow us to gradually pull us under the auger. So we're going to slow down. It's going to center. It's going to say synced. And now he can move us those different positions to where he needs to fill the green cart. So he's going to front now. So it's slowing us down to bring him to the front of the green cart. He has a set center now. And then when we get towards the end, he's gonna send us an unload request saying, we're at the end of the field, you're full, I'm empty. He sent us this combine request here. Again, just a notification to let us know I'm done with you. We just hit the green check to get it to go away. And now we disengage our system. So to disengage, we'll hit steering to disengage steering. Propulsion at this point is what we call a speed freeze. Our tractor is yellow and locked. We're just locked at the last speed. So at that point, we can either engage steering again, and that's the only button we have to push, or hit any speed throttle control pull back of the propulsion handle and now that's disconnected. So now we're free to drive. He can come back around. This is a pretty high level of autonomy, right? I think level three, they said? Yes. So right now we're outside of the sink window. It says no vehicle is available because we're facing an opposite direction of him. Um, if we were 
facing the same direction and we'd be outside of that gray area. It will say outside of sink, head, sink window. So right now it populated because we're going the same direction. So now we can engage our system at this point. So we'll hit steering again and then propulsion. And it's gonna take control and pull us under the auger. You know, how much does something like this increase efficiency? Um, the biggest efficiency aspect I see of it is putting unskilled labor in the cab, uh, putting people's wives and kids in the cab, it takes all of the precision out of the hands of the tractor operator and now puts it into our system to where we don't have to communicate with them as much. We sync up to it, now they can move us all around. There's no communication back and forth, whether it's hand signals over a CB, whatever it may be puts all the precision in our system to where we're not spilling as much grain or crop. Um, they're not jumping or running into a header or getting too close and having to communicate back and forth with that and then watch what they're doing as well. As you would operate the grain cart tractor, normally you'd be turned around looking over, looking at him, trying to see where he needs to fill. Now we don't have to touch any of that. Now it's all in our system. He can move us around, fill where he needs to fill and just takes all that guesswork out of it and that communication aspect where there could be miscommunication with things. And that's where you run into the problems with losing crop, losing grain, getting too close, maybe running into something, things like that. Especially at a point where you're turning around and looking at them, you're not seeing what's ahead of them. Now you can focus on what's ahead. He can worry about looking over his left side to fill the grain cart. And then you only have to worry about obstacles in the way or to disengage or whatever you need to do.